So uh, Dougie Dakota says that uh, he's tried reaching across the aisle and to find some common ground. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dougie, there's a few things wrong with your thinking there. The first thing that comes to mind, Dougie, is that you're a liar. So when you tell lies, Dougie, after a little while, people just think you're lying. You might even be telling the truth, but people still think you lie because you lie, Dougie. You lie your damn ass off. So when uh, when you say that uh, that you've tried to reach across the aisle to find common ground, yeah, we just think you're lying, Dougie, like you lie about everything else. See how it works? See how credibility works, Dougie? Do you see how credibility works? See, when uh, you lie all the time, people stop believing anything you say. But uh, <clears throat> as long as old Dougie's reaching across the aisle, uh, here's another thing for you to think about, Dougie. Here's another thing. You see, when, uh, when you're reaching across the aisle, we're going to uh, want to deal in the uh, reality-based community. Yeah, we're going to want some reality out of you, Dougie. So when uh, Trump was out there saying the election was stolen from him, the big lie, and you've peddled that, Dougie, you've peddled the damn big lie. So automatically we think you're not dealing in reality. There's no reality with you, Dougie. You see, that's the first thing in a negotiation is uh, you got to be dealing with reality. The reality is, Dougie, that your side tried to overthrow the Constitution. We have it on videotape, Dougie. We've got it on videotape of that exact thing happening. We have videotape of the insurrection. So you need to uh, own that, Dougie. You need to own it. You need to come out and say, yeah, yeah, that's what the facts show. That's exactly what the facts show. All the videotape. Orange baby up there having a speech telling him you gotta fight like hell or you're not gonna have a country. You need to own that, Dougie. You see, that's the first, uh, that's the first step. You got to try to, uh, show us that you have any credibility. So you coming out and saying, yeah, there was an insurrection, all right. Yep, it's on videotape. Yep, Trump always said those, those words that Republicans in Congress tried to uh, steal the election. You can come out with it, Dougie. Show us you got some credibility. You, you can tell us the truth, Dougie. The truth is, your side tried to overthrow the Constitution. So you can own that, Dougie. You need to own it. Because that's the fact. That is the fact, Dougie. But I know how you don't like to deal in facts other than the ones that you've made up for yourself. But you see, uh, you can have a damn opinion, Douglas to Cody. Nobody would fault you for having an opinion. See, where you're going to get in trouble is, Dougie, is when we start asking, what do you base that opinion on? What facts are you using to form your opinion? Huh? You see, you're entitled to your own opinion, but you're not entitled to your own facts. The facts are the facts. They're verifiable for anyone to look at it and say, yep, yeah, it was an insurrection, all right. Orange baby sent them on their way. He riled them up, sent them to the Capitol, and we all know what happened after that. So you can, uh, you can own that, Dougie. You need to own that. You see, that's the first step in uh, reaching across the aisle, is dealing in reality. It's like when uh, 
Trump old got a piece the first time, yeah, all the evidence showed that he was in fact guilty of what he was charged with. And you were running around saying, well, impeach this cup. And just laugh, impeach this cup. <laughs> like, like that was so funny. No, Doug, you need to own it. You need to start telling the truth. Because you can reach across the aisle, but if you're just going to lie to us, if you're just going to keep lying to you, to us, Dougie, we're, we're not going to even entertain it. Because we know you lied, Dougie. We know that you are a liar. You don't own the shit on your side. So you tell us that uh, Hillary Clinton is uh, crooked and Trump old is pure as a driven snow. When the facts show opposite, Dougie, the facts show the opposite. Hillary Clinton, probably the most investigated single person in the history of this country, and you got nothing. Nothing. There was nothing there. So we conclude after 30 years of investigation into Hillary Clinton, and you couldn't come up with anything, we can conclude Hillary Clinton is an honest person. Also, we're looking over there at Trumpo, the uh, crookedest administration in the history of this country. Look at all the damn convictions and the convictions for lying. The the uh, lying. So when you tell us uh, Trumpo is innocent, we know you're lying, Dougie. And you want to reach across the aisle and you want to play your, your little game like a, we're supposed to believe your lies? That's not how that works, Dougie. That's not how that works. Apparently, you don't know how credibility works because you've got no credibility. None. You've told too many damn lies, Dougie. So when we say uh, Trump old told 30,500 damn lies that we have documented, documented lies, and you tell us, oh, Trump old was telling the truth, and he was owning us libs. No, he's just a liar, Dougie. Why can't you admit that? Why can't you own that, Dougie? You need to own those 30,500 lies that your orange hero told. See, that would be credible. If you come out and told us, Dougie, yep, they're all documented. 30,500 lies told by the orange shit weasel. Yeah, he lied. See, if you could, uh, if you could say that, Dougie, then, you know, we might start taking you serious when you say that uh, you've tried reaching across the aisle. No, because you're not dealing in reality, Dougie. You're not dealing in any credibility. You're just a fucking liar. We've got you documented with lies, Dougie. Your whole damn side. That's all they do is lie their fucking ass off. Fox Noise lies their damn ass off. Oh, did you see where today, Dougie? That uh, Fox Noise behind the scenes in their office in their studios are now requiring a vaccine passport. Yeah. But see, their on-air personalities are telling you something different. They're telling you, no, that, don't take that vaccine. That's bad for you. Don't take that vaccine. But behind the scenes over there at Fox Noise, yeah, they're doing what the doctors and scientists are uh, suggesting they do, which we got to applaud that. Yeah, at least they're doing it while they're telling you not to do it. And, and, and you got to look at that, Doug. You got to look at that. Why is that? Why, why is Fox Noise doing something in the office and then uh, fucker Carlson's out there telling you to do the damn opposite? Don't you ever stop and think, Dougie, that something, something ain't smelling right with that? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> but see, old Dougie says he's he, he's like a champion. He, he's he's tried to he's tried to extend the olive branch across the aisle. But it's those old liberals that don't they don't want to uh, compromise. They don't they don't want to they don't want to find common ground. You know? You come at us, Dougie, with your damn lies, and we know you're lying. You see, that's the thing is, Dougie, we know that you are lying. So you want to come to us and say, well, uh, let's talk about a few things. Well, we can do that, but first you've got to have some damn credibility. You've got to start owning the Trump administration. All the bad stuff. Two impeachments, a couple hundred convictions in his damn administration. Lots of liars going over, convicted liars. You got to own that, Dougie. If you're going to impress us, you're going to have to come with more than a load of bullshit. And that's what you give us, Dougie. You give us a damn load of bullshit, and we say no thanks. If you're not going to deal in reality, we've got nothing to talk about. You, you, you just don't get it, do you, Dougie? You don't get that credibility part. But Douglas Cody's a liar. If he's told too many damn lies to have any credibility. And Dougie's wanting to say that he's reached across the aisle. Well, I'll call bullshit on that, Dougie. I'll call bullshit on that. I don't think you've done that. I think you're lying about it. And with your track record of lying, yeah. <laughs> That's where we get it from, Dougie, your track record of lying. Lying your ass off. Denying reality. No credibility has Douglas Dakota. None. He's got no damn credibility. He doesn't care about his own credibility. Dougie will lie his ass off like he was doing when he said that he's tried to reach across the aisle. No, I don't believe you, Dougie. I don't believe you because you've told me too many damn lies. After a while, I don't believe anything you say. Nothing. I don't believe anything you say, Dougie, because you have a track record of telling lies. Own that, Douglas Cody. Own your own lies. Then maybe we can talk. <laughs>